Okay, so apologies for that. Um, disturbed by the wife, we were, and we did get to the point where we were looking at um, the state of the oxidation numbers of chlorine. Uh, we have here Cl2. Uh, it's a non-ionic. The oxidation state is zero. Now, we'd looked at HCl, so I'm going to rush through this. HCl is H+. Plus. Uh, it's hydrochloric acid for all those who are used to it. If it's H+, plus, it's going to be Cl- minus to cancel out that one positive charge here. So we've got minus one. Okay, do not just put down one. Um, you have to put down the fact that it's minus one. So we're going to use this logic here again. We know hydrogen is H+. Plus. All right, I'm going to put a plus down. There's only one of them. Oxygen is, I'm going to write it up here, over here, O2 minus. All right. So if I've got two minuses there, I know by what they've told me, there's no overall charge on the HClO. Therefore, if I've got a two minus here, that two is disgusting, and I've got one plus here, that doesn't cancel out. I need another plus. I need two pluses to cancel out these two minuses. So that Cl, that chlorine in here, must be a plus. And it only must be one of them, because I've got a one plus there, a one plus there, which equals the two minuses. So, plus one. Okay. The reaction of chlorine with water is a disproportionation reaction. Use the oxidation numbers in here, in one. So use the oxidation numbers here. We've worked it out. To explain why. Okay. So, to explain why, if we look at chlorine in this, and if we look at the reaction up here, we're looking at chlorine. Chlorine here has an oxidation number of zero. But it forms, it becomes part of two separate products. So, what we could write here is, um, it has been... Disgusting handwriting. I think I've got a new tablet as well, and my handwriting's just getting worse and worse. It has been oxidized and reduced. Um, at the same time, that's probably why I would write it has been oxidized and reduced at the same time. Um, and it's gone from it or chlorine, it has gone from a zero at the start to um, minus one in HCl and plus one in HClO. So you get a right an idea of you know, everything I would write. Um, the thing to be aware of, as you get used to A-level exams, is you do not get two marks. One for writing, it's gone from zero to minus one. Another for writing, it's gone from zero to plus one. This is only worth one mark. So this is worth one mark. And this is your second mark. Okay, so where were we next? Let's have a look. Chlorine reacts with... So down here. Chlorine reacts with sodium hydroxide to form bleach in another disproportionation reaction. This is one of those horrible ones. It's one of those ones where um, you can either remember it or you've got to realise that it's going to form um, HClO. So that's bleach. So we're going to have to kind of think of this. So we've got, um, what was I going to say? We've got like a HClO product coming along. The problem is this is acidic. So, what am I going to do? I need something that looks like this. It's another disproportionation reaction. I'm going to have to have a product that's got a plus one chlorine in. But this is with a... With, okay, so we think about it. HClO, disproportionation. We're going to start with chlorine. This time where we've not got an acid, we've got sodium hydroxide. So I kind of think in my head... Well, it's not an acid. I can't have HClO. For sodium hydroxide, it must be NaClO. And instead of 
HCl, we're going to have sodium chloride. Because if you look at sodium chloride, so here we've got the plus one oxidation state of chlorine. Here we've got the minus one, and it's plus minus. Um, this is Cl minus. And if we look at it, we've got OH as well. So we're going to end up with water. It's not balanced. So what we're going to have to do is put it to NaOH. There. Okie dokie. Now, let's move down a bit. It's a very long question. So, we go to the next question, question D. Question D asks, um, two other chlorine compounds of chlorine, two other chlorine compounds of chlorine are chlorine dioxide and chloric 5 acid. Okay. Um, let's, cover on. let's go for blue this time. I'm on blue. Ah, I'm on blue. Well, hey, so this chloric five acid, chlorine dioxide ClO2, is used as a bleaching agent in both the paper and the flower industry. When dry ClO2 decomposes explosively, um, to form oxygen and chlorine. Construct an equation for the decomposition of ClO2. It sounds kind of tough, um, but it kind of tells you that we are starting with ClO2, and what we are going to form is O2 and chlorine. Whoopsie daisy. There's chlorine gas. Okay, so. O2, well we're fine there aren't we? We've got a ClO2, we've got an O2 here and we've got an O2 there but ah, we've got two chlorine atoms here and only one on this side so I'm going to need two ClO2s. So now I've got two chlorine atoms here, two chlorine atoms here but now I've got four oxygens, two oxygens here times by two is four so I'm going to put number two there. Okay, right. Chloric 5 acid has a following percentage composition by mass. Uh, 1.2% hydrogen, 42% uh, chlorine, 50.8%. Alright, oxygen. Use this information to calculate and prickle form the chloric 5 acid so all you're working. Okie dokie. Let's have a look. So, let's write down 1.2. Uh, 42 and 56.8 okay um, I'm going to put an O there so I know it's oxygen I'm going to put a Cl there because I said it's hydrogen what you do is you take your percentages and you divide it by uh, relative atomic mass 1 35.5 and you said disgusting and oxygen is 16 right um, I kind of rushed through that because you know, hydrogen, chlorine, oxygen is so common. It kind of sticks in my head and 35.5 is something we use a lot of. So, I divide all these and I kind of find out, you know, um, 1.2 divided by 1 is 1.2, 42 divided by rah, 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 and we work our way through it. Then, okay, 1.2. Uh, one, oh, well, we got 1.2, we should have finished with 1.19, oh, yeah, yeah, it could be like that, and 3.5, point, what's the 3.5 ish? Okay, so I've got something like that. So, what I do is I pick the smallest, well I'm going to, I'm actually going to be cheeky, so 1.19 I'm going to round up to 1.2 so what I've done is put these in my calculator and I've actually done it in my head, so I've got 1.2, 1.2 and 3.5 my smallest number is 1.2, so I divide this by 1.2 I divide this by 1.2 and I divide this by 1.2 so here are the steps 
relative atomic mass, RAM, or however you want to call it. You get that from the periodic table. Shove it underneath. This sign here, for those not doing a level mass, means divide. So I'm kind of working on this way. 1.2 uh, divided by 1 is 1 1.2. 42 divided by 35.5 is 1.2-ish. And then what you do is, after you've done this first step, you divide by your smallest number that you've got from from your initial calculation, the smallest number is 1.2. So we get a 1 to 1 to 3. So this is H. We've got 1 hydrogen, 1 chlorine, 3 O's. Oxygen is H, Cl, O, 3. Okay. So what does this little thing here, the 5, representing chloric 5 acid, this is the oxidation number of chlorine. Okay, okay, that's it. It's a very long question um, on the hairlines, but I really like it.